everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the waffle V-stitch, which is a stitch. It has a similar texture on the front as it does on the back. It's uh, quite heavily textured, which is kind of hard to see here in the video, uh, but it's also very easy to work. It's a one row repeat. This pattern does have a little bit of stretch to it both ways. And uh, can be worked in a variety of projects. You can let me know how you would use this stitch down in the comments and of course feel free to say hello. For the tutorial today I'm going to be using a little bit of worsted weight 100% cotton. This is a Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also there in the description you'll find the direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and check out some of the other crochet stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns. Now I did stay, say that our stitch was a one row repeat, but before we get to that repeat, we have a couple rows to work to set the stitch up. So what we're going to do is start by working a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain, and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of five stitches. So today I'm just going to chain 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working two double crochets into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six. Into the sixth chain, work two double crochet stitches, both into the same stitch. You're then going to chain one. Into the next stitch, work another two double crochet stitches. Next, skip the next three chains and into your next stitch work two double crochets. Chain one and two more double crochets into the next stitch. Skip the next three chains and repeat. Two double crochets into the next stitch. Chain one and two more double crochets into the next stitch. When you come all the way across, you will have three chains remaining. You're going to skip the next two chains and double crochet into your final chain. That brings you to the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain two, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. You're going to skip the first double crochet and work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So that so you're actually skipping the first stitch because you have your chain two coming out of it, skipping that next double crochet and working a front post double crochet around the next. So yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert it around the post from the front through to the back, out through the front again of that next stitch. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. Next, into the next chain one space, you're going to work a V stitch. To work your V stitch, you're going to double crochet into the chain one space, chain one, and double crochet into the chain one space. Next, work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. Skip the next 
two double crochet stitches around the post of the next stitch, work a front post double crochet, V stitch into the next chain one space, and front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two double crochets, front post double crochet around the next stitch, V stitch in the next chain one space, and front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat it all the way across. When you come to your end, you're going to simply double crochet into the top of that starting uh, starting chain. That brings you to the end of your row two. You can chain two and turn your work. Now that you have the stitch set up, the rest of the pattern is going to repeating this next, be repeating this next row. So you have your chain two, you're going to, that counts as a stitch, you're going to skip that first stitch, skip that second stitch, around the post of the next stitch, work a front post, double crochet, V stitch into the chain one space, and front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the first next two stitches, front post double crochet around the next stitch, V stitch in the chain one space, and front post double crochet around the next, all the way across. When you come to your final starting chain, you're going to finish off the row by working a double crochet into the top of that turning chain chain two and turn your work. That's all there is for the repeat of this pattern. You're simply going to repeat row two for as long as you would like, then fasten off, weave in your ends, and that is how you work the waffle v-stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye.